hi good afternoon and welcome again to my channel um, if you're watching me for the first time um, I am a New York State licensed cosmetologist my name is Ola Adishino and this is my YouTube channel I use herbs to fix air and skin problem and um, briefly this afternoon before I start I just want to say to everyone or anyone that might be watching me right now I just want to say to you that hold your peace um, and let God fight for you, whatever it is that you might be going through, whatever it is that um, 2020 has brought your way and you're feeling discouraged. I just want you to know that um, in all things, God is more than enough in whatever it is that we are going through. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, more than we can ever imagine or think about. He is the rewarder of those that diligently seek him. All you need to do is seek Jesus and every other thing will fall in place. Even if you're f facing trials and temptation, it is just a face and you will surely come out victorious. So um, I'm going to go straight into what I have for us for um, this afternoon. I'm not going to take too much of our time. This afternoon, I'm going to be speaking on how to take care of your natural air. And I I'm also going to be um, speaking about um, natural products and not magic natural products are not magic you need to use them for it to work now i'm going to start with taking care of your natural hair natural hair is something that you know everybody um has started um doing now and unfortunately not so many people actually know how to take care of their natural hair i have seen so many people i have heard so many people complaining that you know their natural hair is too kinky they can comb it and this and that but um what is common to all of the different stories that I have heard from people is that most people don't actually take care of their natural air. You know, people complain, oh, my natural air is not growing. My air is falling out. Oh, um, this is it's too dry. My scalp is always itchy. But then when I go further to ask them what their, um, their beauty regimen is or what regimen they have to take care of their hair, they are not able to tell me anything. So this afternoon, I just want to tell you that a good um, for you to experience experience a good growth on your natural hair, you have to be able to shampoo it properly. You have to be able to deep condition it properly. It needs to be moisturized. You need to do hot oil treatments, and you always need to um, to keep it very moisturized. How do you moisturize your hair? You must for for um, a very effective result. You have to moisturize your hair when it is damp, because if you're using um, a hair butter that doesn't have um, like an humectants, humectants are anything that attracts um, that um, that are um, water attractive that attracts water to your hair. So if you're using a product that does not contain any humectants, what you want to do is that you want to leave your hair damp before you apply your moisturizer. So for your hair to experience growth, for it not to fall off, for your scalp to be very healthy, and for, for your hair not to be dry, you need a good shampoo, you need a good um, hot oil treatment, you need a good deep conditioner, you need um, a good moisturizer. These are the things that you need, and you need to take care of your hair. Like I said, nothing is magic. You have to be consistent in doing all the things that you used to do or the things that are required of you to do for you to have a healthy normal air somebody once said to, said to me that um, they don't apply um, oil or they don't put anything on their scalp and I look at their hair and I say your hair is very dry and your hair breaks in so many parts so you can't just say to me that you don't use any products on your hair oh I don't like the feel of the product on my hair if you don't like the feel of any product on your hair then unfortunately you are not going to have the desired results you know on your hair you, you're not just going to like the way that it turns out as it is with any other thing your hair needs to be taken care of you need to shampoo your hair regularly you need to deep condition it you need to apply hot oil treatment you need to moisturize it for those that suffer with dry air I always advise that you need a very good moisturizer and for moisturizers to be very effective when you're putting air butter on your hair I always tell people make sure that your hair is damp have a regimen that you that you do at least once or twice a week to keep your hair healthy if you want to see um, 
growth in your hair if you want to see less damage in your hair then you have to take care of it you cannot just assume that it's your natural god giving hair and you expect it to grow by itself it's just like our skin if you want your skin to pop if you want your skin to glow you have to be ready you have to be committed to taking care of it and how do you take care of your skin you take care of it by you know um, giving it a good bath every day um, by moisturizing your skin using a skin um, uh, a sun pro um, protection to make your skin pop so the same thing goes for your air it, you're not just going to sit and assume that you your air is going to grow even though you don't do anything to it you have to be able to take care of it that is why you need i tell people you need a good shampoo when you go out um, to the store to buy your shampoo you need to read the ingredient and see what it contains unfortunately most shampoos would contain lye. Lye is something that makes any kind of shampoo, body, air shampoo, whatever, that makes it foam. So, it's foam. So, it, it is going to con um, contain um, a certain amount of lye in it. So, when you buy your shampoo, you want to read at the ingredient and see what your shampoo contains because some shampoos are very drying to the skin. Another thing that you need is you need a good conditioner. I personally, even though I make my own products, I do not make conditioners. I make, um, I make um, shampoos, I make shampoos, I make air borders, and I make oil. But I do not make conditioners. So what you want to do is when you're buying um, a air border, which is um, a moisturizer, make sure that they are all natural ingredients. And that is what I you know, specialize in. In doing with my own air border what I use is 100% shea butter from Nigeria or from Ghana and they are mixed with all natural oils there are no chemicals even the, preser the um, preservative um, there's even no preservative in this because this is shea butter and doesn't need any form of, of preservative every oil that I use to whip this butter they are all natural and my um, air growing oil also you can also use as an oil hot oil treatment so every air like I've said needs a good shampoo need a good air border which is a moisturizer you need a, a, a good air oil especially if your um, your air is thinning out or is falling out or you know I have so many people that are experiencing um, uh, uh, um, alopecia like I have al always said alopecia is something that I am gradually overcoming myself but it takes treatment so many people show me their hair and they're like my hair is falling off and you know it's just and i asked them how long has have you been suffering from alopecia and they're like oh five years more than five years what are you doing about it nothing most people don't do nothing about their hair falling off but they love to complain about it if you're complaining about something it simply means that you do not like what you're complaining about and then you, it means you have to get up and do something about it so this um, afternoon my encouragement is that you don't have to spend a whole ton of money to take care of your hair do the basic things that you need to do which is a good shampoo invest in a good shampoo invest in a good conditioner invest in a good air border do hot oil treatment if you know that your hair is very um is tends to be always very dry i always do the hot oil treatment because I like to do it every time before I shampoo because that way my hair will not be so dry. When I do the hot oil treatment and then do my shampoo, my hair stays moisturized, you know, at least for as long as I want till I do um, the next till my next wash day. I also want to say to people that love to braid their hair and always have their hair in, in protective styles. So many people braid their hair and they carry the braids for three months, four months, five months. I say that um, that is not wise. That is not good, even though that I understand that, you know, we need to save money. Braiding your hair can um, cost a lot of money. So many people spend as much as $200, $180 braiding their hair, and they don't want to carry it for just two weeks and take it out because to them, $160, $180 is a lot of money. I understand that. But I don't encourage people to braid their hair and carry their hair for four five months it is not healthy it is not good for your scalp because by the time you take out that braids you take out the braids that you've been carried for four months whether you like it or not your hair is coming out without with that braid so what i tell people for people who love to carry their braids for at least six weeks i tell them once it's, it's three weeks you can actually wash your braids wash the scalp the scalp is what is dirty not really the braid so once you have carried your braids for three weeks 
you need to wash it if you are a regular um if you're regular with braids i encourage that you have like a scalp um refresher like if like a scalp cleanser that you can use once in a week to cleanse your scalp these are the things that would help your hair to grow healthy if your hair is constantly in um in in protective styles and you don't even let it breathe there's no way that hair is going to grow it is just normal that your hair will be dry it is normal that it will fall out it is normal that you will not see a lot of growth so we need to learn to take care of our hair the other thing that i want to touch briefly is that natural products are not magic when you buy natural products i encourage us to be consistent in using it if you are not consistent in using it, you are not going to see results. And why? The reason is that with chemicals, with products that contains chemicals, because they are chemicals, they tend to work very fast. You see results very fast. But with natural products, they are natural. They have not under, under, undergone any kind of refinement to make their work, to make um, their effect very fast. So it takes time for you to actually see results. So if you are not, a, I always tell people that want to buy my product, if you are not a patient person, do not buy my product because for you to use natural products, you have to be very patient. And I say to people, it's not magic. I have seen so many people that, you know, I have given out so many samples of my product because I'm testing um, things to make sure that this works before I put it in the market. And I'm sending, I'm giving it out to people. And unfortunately, most people keep my samples. When I give you my sample, I expect you to use it I'm not, it, no, it's not, I'm not forcing you, but I, I expect that you use it and you give me a review. That is a way that I know that it's going to work or it's not going to work. But with most people, they get, you give them the samples and they just go keep it. When you ask them, oh, um, did you use my sample? Or they're like, oh, I used it um, yesterday, but I haven't used it in three days. You know, it's, um, I feel that it's not nice, but at the same time, I feel like people do what they want to do. But if you're in investing your money in natural products, you have to be consistent in using it. If you're buying a hair moisturizer, you have to moisturize your hair daily. You have to apply, um, you know, follow the instructions that I give to you to see results. If you are suffering from any form of alopecia and you're buying my, uh, my oil, I expect that you will use it as directed. You have to use it to see results. If you use it one week and then you don't remember in another two weeks. I have people say to me, oh, my problem is that, is that I don't just remember. But remember that you're spending good money on these things. So the only way that you can help yourself is to actually use it. If you're buying my shampoo, my shampoo is a scalp, is a scalp only shampoo when you buy it don't apply it on your whole hair there's nothing wrong in buying it and applying it on your whole hair but i just feel like it's, it's a total waste of money especially when you have um braids that you haven't taken out in five or six weeks and then you of course that hair is going to be very dirty and then when you apply the shampoo is a waste of um, it's just a waste of um your 25 dollars so if you're buying my uh, my treatment shampoo it is mainly for the scalp you soak it in in your scalp you let it sit for 10 15 minutes and you wash it. it it really lathers very well and um the uh, deep conditioner too is something that we need you need something to deep condition your hair so all of these natural products that you're buying if you're buying you need to be conscious you need to be consistent you need to say to yourself i need to be deliberate in using all of these things if you are not deliberate in using it unfortunately we are not going to see results so you know, I encourage you, I encourage everybody, even if it's not my product, I'm not with any kind of products that you buy, you have to be consistent in using it to see results. You know, I think people are so used to seeing things that work. People want things that work like immediately. People want to buy, they want to buy something and they want to see it work within one week. It happens to me too. I buy things and I'm like, within one week, I want to see a result. Unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work like that. You always have to use it. You have to be consistent in it to see results. And that's all that I have to share with you this afternoon. I hope that somebody has learned. Please feel free to reach out to me. I am open to consultations, free consultations. Reach out to me. I'm going to leave a link um, in my video to show you all of the products that I have. I'm going to share my website and my Instagram page with you. And that's all I have. I, I pray that you stay safe. You keep on staying safe, safe and um, do all that you, ha that you have to do to keep yourself safe. God bless you and um, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day today.
bye god bless and don't forget to subscribe if you're watching my channel subscribe comment like and share thank you